And this is one of the problems now, you see, because when you're talking about accents, it's so important not to restrict the mindset to just the accents that we know here in, in Britain. Um, how can we when we're streaming all over the world and everybody, all the two billion or more people who speak English around the world have all got an accent and they've all got national accents and some of them are, are very standardized accents within the communities they come from. Moreover, it isn't just the fact that ordinary people, as it were, have these accent variations. The people who control our perceptions of accent have these preconsiderations as well. In particular, Hollywood, for instance. I mean, I mentioned the television a little earlier on. Um, but, of course, film is one of the big ways in which people uh, present us, choose to present us with certain accents related to certain types of character and certain types of atmosphere, certain types of plot. We have a chapter in the book called... Oh, uh, uh, what's it called? Why, why do the bad guys talk posh? Why do the bad guys talk posh? <laughs> Hello, Mr. Bond. <laughs> yes, yes, very nice RP sometimes, isn't it? And if they speak RP, you are a bad guy, very likely. Very it's, likely. You know, it's funny, when, whenever I do go to the States and I find myself slipping into American, and I give myself a smack around the back of the head because I think, you know, oh, I'm, I'm sort of fitting in here. But actually, of course, if I do the Hugh Grant, hello, I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> I'm awfully sorry, and you know, you, you get you, you used to be able to buy your way into places with that accent, <laughs> yes. but now it's not true because you go, oh, hello, I'm terribly sorry, and they think, oh my God, he's a megalomaniac villain <laughs> <laughs> who has some sort of death suit, and he's going to kill me with it. You know, I mean, it's it's true yeah. how it's changed. Yeah, it's extraordinary, isn't it? This isn't a very recent phenomenon, by the way. Of course, I mean, if you go right back to the the first Robin Hood film with that famous RP speaker Errol Flynn in the title role. Um, well, you remember his accent, certainly not one that Robin himself would have used, but who, who is the Sheriff of Nottingham? Who are the bad guys? You know, Basil Rathbone and people like that speaking lovely RP. I mean, right from those days to the present day. We, we did quite a study of the modern films, didn't we? And while it isn't 100% the case that the, good, that the bad guys are the only ones who talk posh. There are some you know, Hugh Grant type characters uh, that, that. I think what we worked it down to in Hollywood movies, British people are either bad guys, cockneys, pirates, <laughs> drunk, or all of the above. <laughs> <laughs> Which does bring it to appear. Oh but, oh, but, but right, and this is part of the thing that made us write this book because we were sort of fascinated by all of these accents. And one of the wonderful things that the publishers did was they gave us this platform in order to be able to explore this, mm. um, which you've been uh, particularly keen on. Yes, I, uh, this is You Say Potato. Uh, we chose the title of the book because of the film. This is Fred Astaire, Ginger Rogers. You remember that scene, and if you can't remember it, it you'll see it online, where they come... By the book, it's in the book. Well, oh, yeah, you think... <laughs> I'm just saying well, that, yeah, all right. yeah. Yeah, it's, it's just a trailer, really. Think of it as a trailer. Yeah, yeah. But uh, anyway, uh, it's called Let's Call the Whole Thing Off because you say either and I say either. You say neither and I say neither. Yeah, it's that sort. Of, th those are the words. And so um, we, uh, how did we get onto that? Well, they said, well, we were, because we, you, like, you, you like this kind of thing. You go through all the Friends episodes. Mm. You went through all the punch annuals looking for accent jokes. And, and they gave us this Google map where you can phone up or you know, tap it into your phone or call That's it up. That's right. Or you say potato is the name of the book. Thank you, Ben. There I, you're I, welcome. It's a senior moment. Is that what it was? Yeah, yeah senior moment. Yeah. So yeah. When, you're, 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 Bill, is it? I mean, it's, it's just yeah. son number two. So, oh, yeah, right, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. It's called you say potato.net. And what they did was uh, basically, I, I wanted to, to get access to as many different accents in the world as possible. So what you do, and any of you can do it, it's still live and it will be live forever, I hope. You go to this site, and there is a map, a Google, Google map of the world, and already there are about 1,500 or 1,600 uh, accents up there of people simply saying, press the button, hello, uh, my name's so-and-so, and I live in so-and-so, or I was brought up in so-and-so, and this is how I say potato. Send. And up it goes a day or so later. And it's been amazing. I, I didn't quite know what to expect. Uh, the word potato is quite a good word for this sort of thing because it's got many syllables, it's got a nice 
rhythm. rhythm. Mm -hmm. It's got varying contrast in the vowels, possibly, so you could expect all sorts of things, couldn't you? You know, potato and potato and potato and all of these. All of these things will, are going to be up there. And they are up potatoes. there. They are up there plus all the reduced forms of the word potato that you find when you go around the dialects of the world. We began by asking some of our famous friends to do it for us. So uh, Stephen Fry comes on in a very Stephen Fry-like, I say, potato. Uh, the uh, uh, Benjamin Zephaniah comes on and uh, produces a, a master stroke of articulation. You know, I'm Benjamin Zephaniah, I'm from Birmingham, and this is how I say potato. But the point is, yes, these were just people to help the, the show get off the ground, as it were. But you all, and you all, can record your potato. It, 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 he is so excited mm. about the idea of the Guinness Book World Records biggest collection of people saying the word potato. So, so you're in the position of teaching listening comprehension. And you want to get somebody to listen to as wide a range of accents as possible. In the old days, it was impossible without going onto Oxford Street and just listening, listening, listening. These days, it's so easy, partly because there are sites like ours. And ours is small at the moment compared with the real big one, IDEA. Mm. You know about IDEA? I-D-E-A, the International Dialects of English Archive. Paul's uh, website. Run by Paul Mayer from um, Kansas. Kansas. And his plan is to have a recording, a good quality recording, of every English accent in the world, eventually. He's already got over a thousand on his site, and you know, this isn't just accent of course, this is dialect as well, so IDEA, I-D-E-A, is another opportunity. It's a great place to go as an actor, to go and listen to an accent that you're trying to take on, especially if you can't afford to travel there. You know, if I want to go to do a, a Louisiana accent or whatever, I don't have to go to Louisiana, I can listen to it on Paul's website. But it also covers the one accent that you can't travel to anymore that Dad is responsible for recreating, and that is the accent of Shakespeare. 